What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty. It is here. It's time for the Sun Belt Championship between Louisiana Monroe and Georgia State. Last week, the Panthers were at home in the Georgia Dome taking on Middle Tennessee State, and they came away with a victory, 48-16. to They moved up from number four to number three. They're hoping for an Alabama loss today in their SEC championship game so they can move up into the national championship game. As you see here, Georgia State rolled through their conference with a 9-0 record the best in the Sun Division. Monroe with a 6-3 and three conference record. They win the belt and they will face off today. Who will win? We'll find out next. for the Sun Belt Championship to get underway. The Warhawks will start out with the ball. Collier's pass off the helmet of the Georgia State defender there. It'll be second down and 10 now from the shotgun. Collier takes the pass, looks, fires, and is picked up by Jarvis Hall, middle linebacker for the Panthers, and two plays and a turnover for Monroe. Georgia State takes over, handoff to Anthony Gross. Getting outside, good blocking inside the 10, using a speed, touchdown, Georgia State. 29 yards on one play, and the Panthers have the lead, seven to nothing. The Warhawks take back over Collier on the read option, keeps it, breaks a tackle, and he's past midfield, down inside the 45. A big gainer on the ground there and bad open field tackling by Georgia State. Collier now will dump it off to Dobinsky here. Dobinsky's going to fight his way for 11 yards, just short of the first down, but they would pick it up on third. Second and two now. Collier going deep, and this one broken up by Ben Wood, almost intercepted. Collier one for four early on. Third down and two. Handoff goes to Travis Flanagan up the middle using his speed and he gets inside the five. 21 yards on the ground. Sets up the Warhawks first and goal. Collier keeps it on first and goal and into the end zone he goes. Flag is on Georgia State for offsides and the Warhawks tie this game up at seven apiece. Georgia State takes over now third and seven. Smith Scrambling out to his right will take off, fire downfield on the run, and find his running back, Anthony Gross, for 30 yards. Smith's so good at throwing on the run. First and 10, Smith looking. He's got to scramble out of the pocket, and he's not going to avoid the sack, a loss of 14. Second and 24 now. Smith hands off to Stephen Leach, and he finds a hole and finds a block and gets the first down and more inside the 20. A gain of 40 by Stephen Leach, known for those big runs. First and 10 for Georgia State, and Luther Madison's going to make an 11-yard reception inside the 5, or inside the 10, down at the 6, first and goal. Panthers. And on first and goal, Steve Smith finds Terrence Flynn in the corner of the end zone for a 6-yard touchdown. Smith 4 for 4 and a touchdown on the day, and the Panthers lead 14-7. Warhawks take over, Flanagan with the handoff, and he's going to break a tackle and gain the first down. Second down and five for Monroe. Collier back to pass, lobbing it up there, and Smith, Nathan Smith with a six-yard reception, gives the Warhawks a first down. Now at midfield, first and ten. Collier, pump fakes, goes deep, and broken up, tipped at the high point by Vinny Hill incomplete. It'll be third and seven now for the Warhawks. Collier back to pass again. Hit as he throws, but Williams comes up with a reception and keeps the drive alive for Monroe. First and ten. Collier quick out to Rosario here, and he's going to use a block to get that first down on a 14-yard wide receiver screen. First and ten. Collier back to pass. 
Finds Dobinsky, and Dobinsky has a first down. Collier improving from that one and four start on the day. Second down and 10 now. Collier gonna keep it on the read option. Breaks a couple tackles there, but the third one will get him, and he gains nothing. Third and 10 now for the Warhawks. Collier back to pass, is gonna dump it off to Smith, and Smith will make his way to the end zone for the touchdown and tie this game up at 14 apiece here. At, as we're at the end of one quarter, it's all tied up at 14. Georgia State has the ball to start the second quarter. Game's tied at 14. Offenses have been really good. Steven Leach on second and 13 will go for seven. Third and six now for the Panthers. Smith looking to pass for that first down and a step up, fire to the sideline. And just a bit off the mark, incomplete, but that receiver needs to go for that ball. And the Panthers have to punt. Warhawks take over, Collier. Read option, will keep it. Stiff arm his way to a first down. It's a gain of 13. Monroe trying to take the lead here on Georgia State. It's first and 10. And he's going deep. Collier deep. And Vinny Hill there again for his second deflection of the day. Third and 10 now for the Warhawks. Collier going to pass. Looking, going deep again. This time picked off by Ben Wood. Trying to find somewhere to go. And he's going to be taken down at about the 38. That's a loss after the interception. But Georgia State gets a takeaway. Second and two. Steve Smith's going to find Terrence Flynn over the middle. And a lot of yak after that one. A gain of 18 yards. From the Warhawks 35. Smith on first and 10. He's going to fire over the middle for Terrence Flynn again. 17 yards on that pitch and catch. First and 10 now. Play action, Steve Smith, lots of time here. He's going to scramble out, and he's not going to avoid the sack. A loss of 17 for Steve Smith. Second and 27, Smith back to pass. Again is sacked for a loss of nine in this offensive line. That one was their fault. A couple of the other ones have been Smith's fault. But third and 36, Smith setting up the screen to Mark Barnes. And Mark Barnes is going to have an open field ahead of him. Can he get the first down? He does, and he uses the juke move to make his way into the end zone. 44 yards and a touchdown on third and 36. Unbelievable. Georgia State takes the lead back 21-14. to The Warhawks take over. Kyler's pass to Harris. Off his hands, incomplete. Third down and nine now. Working from the shotgun, Collier. Looking and pressured and sacked on the play. And it'll set up a fourth down and a punt. Georgia State takes over. Good field position here. Already past midfield as Steve Smith keeps on the read option. And he will pick up a first down on a gain of 12. First and 10 now. Smith play action. Steps up, fires deep, caught by Lavelle Hampton in stride there. And he gets down to the six. First and goal, Georgia State. Smith back to pass, is going to scramble out to his left here. Fire back across the field, core of the end zone. Trevor Phillips, touchdown, Georgia State. They would review this one, and he did get his feet in bounds. Halftime is here, and Georgia State leads 28-14. Georgia State has the ball to start the second half and a two touchdown lead. Hand off to Anthony Gross up the middle, breaks a tackle, then the speed kicks in and he gains 17. We look at the halftime stats here. Georgia State putting up the passing yards. Steve Smith 10 for 11 in that first half and three passing touchdowns so far. First and 10, Georgia State. Smith under center will look to pass again. Been very efficient, like I said earlier. This time he's going to be tackled for a sack and a loss of 15. Too many of those today by Steve Smith. Eventually it ends up to third and 35. Smith going to fire this one out over the head of his receiver, Luther Madison. And the Panthers first drive of the second half ends in a punt. The Warhawks take over in Georgia State territory now. And this deep pass on second and nine to Josh Williams gets him a first down on a gain of 18. First and 10, Collier back to pass, and he's gonna dump it off to Rosario here, 
And the flag on the play, Rosario will break the tackle and be pushed out of bounds at the six. It's uh, roughing the passer, so that's half the distance down to the three. Kyler, Collier on first and goal will pitch it out to Flanagan, who's going to get taken down for a four-yard loss. Second down and goal, working from the shotgun. Collier's going to keep it this time on the read option. Break one tackle, the second man will get him, and it's a gain of one. Third and goal now for the Warhawks. Collier back to pass, looking, steps up, and this one's off the crossbar or the upright of the field goal post, incomplete, and the Warhawks settle for a field goal, make it 28-17. Georgia State takes over, and the fly sweep to Luther Madison, not working, a loss of four. Third down and nine, Smith back to pass, steps up, fires, caught by Trevor Phillips, it's a gain of 11, and a Georgia State first down. First and 10, Smith will hand off to Gross, Going outside, getting that first down, trying to juke a defender, but he's pushed out of bounds after a gain of 15. Third and 10 now on this drive for Georgia State. Smith back to pass, going deep, and caught by Trevor Phillips, who had a big game last time in the regular season finale. First and 10 now, pitch out to Mark Barnes here on first and 10. He's got the first down, and a juke move uses it, and he gets to the end zone, 23 yards and a touchdown. And Georgia State's lead is 35-17 now. Warhawks take over here, second and 12. Stop for no gain, Flanagan was, but the face mask penalty gives them a first down. First and 10, Collier keeps it on a read option, has the first down, but he's hit and fumbles the ball. Picked up by B.J. Allen, and he's going to break a tackle. Will he go all the way? 10-5, touchdown, Georgia State. It's a fumble recovered for a touchdown by B.J. Allen. And at the end of three, Georgia State's on top, 42-17. To As we start the fourth and final quarter of the Sun Belt Championship game, Georgia State's lead commanding at 25 points. Rosario with a 14-yard reception. That's going to put... The Warhawks closer to that end zone of Georgia State trying to get back in this game. Collier going deep and Ben Wood there with the deflection in the end zone. Fourth and ten and the Warhawks going for it. Collier back to pass will step up in the pocket. He's firing deep and it's picked off by B.J. Allen. His second interception on the day along with that fumble recovered for a touchdown. I don't know how he got his feet in bounds on that one. Stephen Leach and the Georgia State Panthers take over in a nice first down run by Leach. First and 10, Smith back to pass here. He's going to fire this one deep, one on one. Luther Madison cannot come away with a catch. A.J. Harris with a deflection. Second and 10, Leach with the handoff here. He's going to get outside here. Juke move does not work, but he gains 14 and a first down. From the Warhawks side of the field, Smith rolling out, firing on the run, and caught by Luther Madison downfield, a gain of 18. It's first and 10, Georgia State, just outside the 20. Smith rolling around the pocket, decides to take off here, and he's going to fire on the run across the field to Lavelle Hampton, 19 yards, and they're inside the five. First and goal, Smith's pass. Almost caught by Everson. He could not hang on and it bounces around. Could have been intercepted. Second and goal now. Smith under center will hand off to Anthony Gross. Gross will make his way to the end zone. Touchdown Georgia State. And they extend their lead 48-17. to Warhawks take over now. Just trying to get any resemblance of an offense going here. Collier's pass caught by Reed here on the move up to the 45. Second down and 11 now for the Warhawks. Callier looking, firing outside, caught by Nathan Smith, and they're into Georgia State territory. First and 10. Callier back to pass again. Again going outside, but again picked off. B.J. Allen with another interception. Turnover number six, his third interception on the day. And fourth takeaway. 
Steve Smith now on first and 10 will break a tackle on the read option. Down the sideline he goes, and he's finally brought down inside the 20, a big gain of 47. First and 10 now from the 17. Smith fires outside, caught by Terrence Flynn, and it's first and goal, Georgia State from the 7. Smith out of the shotgun, looking, fires, and broken up, incomplete, and it'll be second down and goal. From the seven, Smith will hand it off to Anthony Gross, goes outside, breaks a tackle, and gets the end zone seven yards on that touchdown run, and Georgia State's lead 56 to 17. That would be all but it as the final interception here by Ben Wood, his second of the day, number seven of the game for Georgia State. That was the story of the game. Takeaways by this Georgia State defense have done it, and they have won the Sun Belt Championship. I believe this is the second year in a row. They have won it. Anthony Gross, your player of the game. And Georgia State can add that trophy to their trophy case. And Georgia State gets the win in blowout fashion, 56 to 17. And we take a look at your game stats. Georgia State, 225 yards on the ground. That's been the name of their game all season, rushing, averaging over 200 yards a game. Anthony Gross, player of the game on offense, three touchdowns, 119 yards. A nine, nine care, or 15 carries. B.J. Allen, four tackles. He only had two interceptions. Brad Amos is your Heisman Trophy for the 2020 season. Not even sure why Steve Smith wasn't on the list. But Georgia State gets invited to the All-State Sugar Bowl, not the national championship game. We stay number three in the country with facing off against number four, Minnesota from the Big Ten. So why didn't we get the national championship game? Well, Alabama lost to Tennessee, but number five, Ohio State, beat number four, Nebraska. And the BCS people, the coaches poll, thought that was better. And they leapfrogged us for number two in the country. We don't agree, but that's what it is. So we'll be playing in the All-State Sugar Bowl in the next episode against 10-2 Minnesota. Can the 12-1 Georgia State Panthers get victory number 13 on the season? We'll find out in the next episode. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.